Hey ladies, it's Chris again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to paper a chipboard letter. And the first thing you want to do is if it has any holes or anything like this that you do want to use later on, is go ahead and take these out first. And what you can use on this depends on how you feel and what you want to use. Um, you can use regular cardstock, like I've chosen. Um, you can use newspaper. You can use pattern paper. You can even use vellum. It just it d totally depends on what you want to use. And you can do so many different elements with this. And I'll show you a couple techniques I'm going to use. I'm going to use this on another project later. So what I'm going to do first is I've got my brush ready. I've got one of these. And add a new brush in. I'm going to get some Mod Podge. And this is what you're going to use. I have the matte finish. This happens to be my favorite one. I don't really like everything too sparkly. But you're going to lay this on real thin. Make sure you cover it as much as possible because you don't want it to come up on the edges or anything like that. So I've almost got that on there right. Now from there, we're just going to set that aside. You take your cardstock best thing to do is lay it down, upside down, put your letter on top, press it down, make sure it's nice and smooth, flip it back over, rub it down, make sure it's on the right, and then from there you can start cutting the excess off. It's pretty simple, this one's pretty simple, it doesn't have too many curves on it or anything like that. And I'll show you what one looks like done. I did an L. And in this case, you can see I've already started sanding down the edges here. And it makes it a lot better. You'll see up here it has rough edges. You don't want that. It doesn't look finished and it looks really tacky. So you're just going to take a sanding brush. Um, you can use the files. You can use an actual sanding stone. It just totally depends on you and what you have. So I'm just going to go over this curve. And you'll notice it looks much better. Now for the inside, I'm going to go ahead and grab something different. I'm going to grab one of these. When you sand these, make sure you go downward. So in this case, I'm going to start from the underneath part and move it from up to down. And that will take out all the excess. I can finish that a little bit later. But you see what I'm, what I'm trying to, to give you on that one. Now the next thing I want to do, so that it looks kind of neat, and it gives it more of a finished look, is I'm going to take my ink. I'm going to use black, black on black, and you'll see why in a second. First of all, I can cover the edging here, so it looks nice and neat, and you have a black edge instead of the regular um, naked chipboard. And it gives it more of a, a different effect. You can emboss the edging if you want. Or you can leave it dry as it is. Try to get in there as much as possible. Choose my initials for this project. Because <laughs> I'm going to show you a box and a different um, tutorial. Okay, from there I'm going to go ahead and get stamp out. I just want a pretty design. I am going to emboss it so you'll see what that looks like. Put enough ink on there. And that's just enough to grab some of the embossing powder. Put it in different areas. It's a little bit harder. Get more ink. And you don't see it now so much, but you will in a second. Okay, I have a thicker embossing powder than I'm using this time, so it might not be as detailed as you would prefer, but it gives it more of a raised look. I'm going to take our heat gun. 
I'm just starting blocking it. Okay, now that's done. And the next thing we want to do, I didn't quite finish sanding everything down, but that's not a problem. You can still Mod Podge and go back and sand later. So I'm going to get some more Mod Podge on my brush. Not a whole lot. You see how much I have on there. And we're just going to lay it over real quick. Always thin layers. You don't want to do too much. If you put it on too thickly, it starts to bubble and it doesn't look too hot. Now one thing I've noticed lately, um, just recently, is I did a jar, a glass jar, and the Mod Podge looks really cool on it. It actually looks like it's glazed, so you can kind of see it there. There's more pictures on my blog, so you can check that out. Not only have I Mod Podge that recently, but I've recently um, done a birdhouse. And the cool thing with the birdhouse is it makes a finished look on it. You've got the birdhouse, now you can handle it any way you want. You can even wipe it down if something happens to it, and it should be fine. The other items that you might want to Mod Podge are covers of chipboard albums. Because these are things that are going to be handled often. Um, I did the front cover on this one, and I did the back cover on this one. And you can see where the Mod Podge glazed over it. Now one thing you're going to notice is, depending on how much you use and how you brush it on, it's going to give it a different effect. There are two things that you don't want to do, and the reason you don't want to Mod Podge these items is because it starts to look really weird, and it looks a little tacky. So one thing is your flowers. The reason this one's Mod Podged, there you go, you can see it better. The reason this one's Mod Podged is I use this book a lot. I use it for all my swap addresses. I have everything in there in my calendar, but it's important that everything has some sort of coating on it. Um, if it's something that you're going to use like as an artwork or, or something like that that's not going to be handled too often, like this here, don't bother Mod Podging the flowers. The ribbon is the other thing. The reason you don't want a Mod Podge ribbon is it starts looking really funky and it looks like it has something weird on it. So as soon as I find a project I did that on, I'll show you, but I'll have to show you that probably in another tutorial. So now you can see our L. It's starting to dry, it looks really nice and neat, and it gives it a little glaze effect. And it's done, it's ready and set to go on a project. So there you go ladies, thank you for watching.